Now, I was looking to solve the problems in this session. So, this question is came from 2019 for 2 marker. 2019 gate for 2 marker. Okay, so gate 2 marker means it is a higher marks. Now, the question is, the experimentally observed magnetic momentum value which match well with the spin only value for the pair of the aquasayas. The question is very interesting question. That means, uh, observe ma uh, magnetic momentum values uh, spin only and observed values are equal. Spin only and observed values are equal. That means, uh, there is no orbital contribution. There is no orbital contribution. When then, uh, when there is no orbital contribution, whenever, so it having the alpha field configuration, okay, alpha field configuration, in case of a T2G in D orbitals or F orbital means uh, uh, as usually now or full field configuration or full field configuration. Okay, so when those two metals, which two metals having the same observed magnetic momentum value as well as a spin only magnetic momentum value. Now we'll go with uh, options. Now here chromium 3, gadolonium 3, they are given in the F black elements also. So that's why we have to remember the electronic configuration of F black, lanthanides and actinides. Now here B is cobalt 2, uh, cobalt 2, gadolonium 3, chromium 3, dysprosium 3, D is lutetium 3, terbium 3. Okay, now we have to solve the problems in a very easier manner. Chromium 3 means D3 configuration. D3 means T2G3 is 0 there is no orbital contribution so it is very closer to the our assumption okay now the second one gadolonium 3 so gadolonium 3 means uh, it is f7 configuration f7 means half a filled there is no orbital contribution so now our first uh, first option will very closer to the our option our option but let us think uh, remaining three options okay let us go with the remaining three one so now cobalt 2 means uh, d7 that means t2g5 eg2 so T2G5 is unsymmetry. It is participated the orbital contribution. Okay, it participates the orbital contribution. So if anything, it participates the orbital contribution that cannot uh, equal to the their observed as well as uh, uh, magnetic spin only values. Okay, so that's why second option is wrong. Now we'll go with the uh, third option. Chromium three already discussed. It is not participated. But dysprosium three. Dysprosium means. Uh, it means F8 configuration. F8 configuration, it participates the orbital contribution. It participates the orbital contribution. Okay. So, if anything, it participates the orbital contribution that is not equal to the, the observed as well as the spin only formula. So, now it is also not our option. Now, the third, uh, final one is lutetium 14. Lutetium means F14. Terpium means, uh, terpium plus 3 means lutetium plus 3 F14. Terbium plus 3 F7, F9. Okay, now here it is F9, it is F8. Okay, now here terbium plus 3 is F8. Okay, so here also it participates the orbital contribution, orbital contribution. That's why these two, uh, lutetium cannot participate the orbital contribution, but another one is participating the orbital contribution. That's why it is also not correct. So now our option is first one. So very easier, uh, you will easily get the 2 marks from GET or 4 marks from the CSIR. Okay. Now we solve the second problem which is came from December 2017 CSIR, 2017 December CSIR okay, for 4 marker. So for the following complexes in increasing order of a magnetic momentum that means they are given in a spin only magnetic momentum. We know that the spin only magnetic momentum formula square root of n into n plus 2 here n is equal to number of unpaid electrons. Number of unpaid electrons okay now uh, how they are arranged in their order so increasing order that means uh, lesser to higher one lesser to higher one now first one is ta f6 minus 3 that means here ta plus 3 here only one electron that means 1.732 new value 1.732 now here b means chromium f6 minus 3 that means chromium plus 3 here D3 configuration. D3 means here are 3 unpaired electrons. That's why here the magnetic momentum 3.9. Okay. Now what about C is Mn F6 minus 3. That means uh, Mn plus 3. Mn plus 3. Here D4 configuration. D4 configuration. Mu is equal to 4.9. Okay. Now about C is equal to so cobalt plus 3. Cobalt plus 3 here that means uh, <coughs> cobalt f6 minus 3 
we have the oxidation state plus 3, we have the configuration is D6. Now the filling, filling method is, it is weak filled, that's why 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here I am, and n is equal to 4, n is equal to 4 means mu is equal to 4.9. Okay, now here uh, several types of the magnetic momentum are shown. Now here, so increasing order means left to, right, lesser to higher one, lesser to higher one. Now the lesser one is A. Then after, uh, then B is greater than A. Again, uh, C and D are equal. These two are greater than B. Okay. Now, our option is uh, D. I think it is, D is correct option. Okay. Now, we solve the third problem, which is given in 2016 December. Now, now, we solve the third problem. Now, we solve the third problem, which is given in 2016 December. Okay, the question is, the complex that shows the orbital contribution to the magnetic momentum is. So, among these four complexes, which one show the orbital contribution? Orbital contribution means uh, T2G and symmetry. Let us uh, write the uh, T2G and EZ configurations of the four following four components. So, we easily find out it. Uh, I think it is uh, just a 30 to 1 minute question. 30 seconds to 1 minute question. Now, the option A, copper plus 2, that means uh, T2G 6, EZ 3. Okay, here easy and symmetric, not T2G. Now option B is nickel plus 2. That means T2G 6, easy 2. T2G 6, easy 2. Now the C, uh, option C is cobalt plus 2. That means 7, D7, T2G 5, easy 2. Okay, now the option D is equal to chromium plus 2, D4, T2G 3, easy 1. T2G 3, easy 1. Now here easy orbital, T2G not contribution. Now here also T2G not contribution. Um, uh, uh, either fourth one is also T2G not contribution. Now C option, which which is only uh, participating in the orbital contribution. Now D2, D7 configuration means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That means in your weak field again, electronic filling method uh, like this. That means uh, here T2G orbital having the asymmetry. That's why it is only participated the orbital contribution. Now we solve the fourth problem, which is given from 2016 CSIR December. Okay. So the G values of uh, cerium plus 3 and prosodium plus 3 are. So they are given the some certain uh, lanthanide uh, species. Uh, they want to find the G values. Okay, so if you remember the G value formula, it is very pretty easier question. Okay, pretty easier question. If you remember the G formula, 1 plus J into J plus 1 plus S into S plus 1 minus L into L plus 1. Okay, by 2J into J plus 1, 2J into J plus 1. Okay, so now we, we know the G formula, G formula, but we don't know the values of G, J, S, L. Okay, so with the help of... Uh, uh, ground term symbol knowledge, uh, cerium plus 3 means 4F1, we will find those values, again, again uh, substitute those values in formula, we will get the answer, okay, cerium plus 3 means uh, 4F1, 4F1, that means uh, 7 orbitals, F of F3, okay, 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, here only one electron, that means L is equal to 3, S is equal to F, Okay, J is equal to L minus S, L minus S, that means uh, here less than the off-field configuration, J is equal to L minus S, more than off-field configuration, J is equal to L plus S, L minus S means 3 minus 1 by 2, that means 5 by 2, that means uh, 5 by 2, so let us substitute these values uh, to G formula, okay, so here G is equal to 1 plus 5 by 2 into 5 by 2 plus 1 plus 1 by 2, 1 by 2 plus 1 minus 3 into 4 by 2 into 5 by 2, 5 by 2 plus 1, 5 by 2 plus 1, okay, here 1 plus 5 by 2, 5 by 2 plus 1 is equal to 7 by 2, we know the LCM values, for 7 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 plus 1, that means 3 by 2, that means 3 by 2 <coughs> minus 12 by 2, 2 cancel, 2, 2 cancel, so 5, 5 by 2 means 7 by 2, 7 by 2. Two. So here 1 plus 5 7 are 35 by 2 plus 3 by 4, 2 2 are 4, not 2, minus 12, minus 12. So nothing is there, that's why I will write in one value, 5 7 are 35 by 2. Okay, let us take the LCM value for the uh, numerator. Now G is equal to 1 plus 35 plus 3 minus 4. Here 4 minus 48. This is the LMS LCMS value. So 35, 3 minus 12 for 0, 
48 by 35 by 2. 35 by 2. Here 1 plus uh, uh, minus 10 by 4 into 2 by 5. 2 by 35. 2 by 35. Here 2 ones are 2 twos are. 2 five two ones are 2 fives are. 5 ones are 5, five sevens are. 5 ones are 5 sevens are. Here 1 minus 1 by 7. 1 minus 1 by 7. So now 1 minus 1 by 7. 7 minus 1 by 7. That means 6 by 7. 6 by 7. So uh, let us uh, look at our uh, options now here two are there two options are there with seven, six by seven that's why we'll solve the another one also we, we want to solve the another another option also so first one value is equal to six by seven first one g value is equal to six by seven now the second one so which is nothing but a four f two four f two one two three four five six here one one l is equal to three plus two means five L is equal to 5. Spin is equal to 2 of the half plus half that means 1. S is equal to 1. J is equal to 5 minus L minus S. That means 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. So let us substitute these values in equation. 1 plus uh, J value is equal to 5. J value is equal to 4. <coughs> J value is equal to 4. 4 into 4 plus 1, 5. Plus uh, spin value is equal to 1. 1 into 1 plus 1, 2. Minus L value is equal to 5. L value is equal to 5. 5 into 5 plus 1, 6 uh, by 2 into here J is equal to 4. 4 into 4 plus 1, 5. So 1 plus 4, 5 is 20 plus 2 minus 30 by 2 into 4, 2, 4 is 8, 8, 5 is 40. 8, 5 is 40. Or otherwise 5, 2 is 10, 10, 4 is 40. Now 1 plus 22 minus uh, 30, that means 8. By 40 okay now here 1 minus uh, 8 by 40 1 the 1 5 the 8 1 the 8 5 the 1 minus 1 by 5 1 minus 1 by 5 5 minus 1 by 5 so that means a 4 by 5 okay second one z value is equal to 4 by 5 so first one 6 by 7 and second one 4 by 5 our option is d is correct d is correct this is also came from 2016 december csir it is four marker question okay let us solve the another problem which is given in 2014 gate okay among the following complex i am that is expected to show the highest magnetic momentum at room temperature so first one is nickel cn4 times minus 2 iron cn6 minus 3 copper h206 times plus 2 cobalt cn6 minus 3 okay all of the strong field ligands here nickel plus 2 here iron plus 3 iron plus 3 copper plus 2 cobalt plus 3 cobalt plus 3 oh here nickel plus 2 means d8 configuration so it is strong field ligand all are paid up then n is equal to 0 mu is equal to 0 now here iron plus 3 means a uh, iron plus 3 means a d5 configuration here nickel plus 2 d8 configuration here copper plus 2 d9 cobalt plus 3 d6 okay so d5 configuration now it feels like this one Two, three, four, five. Okay. Now here n is equal to one. Mu is equal to one point seven three two. Now here copper plus two means uh, here also nine electrons of so two, six, eight, nine. So here n is equal to one. <coughs> mu is equal to one point seven three two. Here cobalt plus three d six means uh, all are paid. All are paid. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here cobalt plus three d six n is equal to zero. Mu is equal to zero. So they are asking about. Uh, <coughs> Highest magnetic momentum among the four. So first one and last one are zero magnetic momentum. That's why those two are wrong answers. <coughs> okay. Now let us find out uh, among these two which is the more magnetic momentum. So these two are given in the equal magnetic momentum, equal magnetic momentum. But so here copper plus two means T two G three is sorry T two G six E G three configuration. Now here in case of uh, iron means T two G five is zero configuration. So that means uh, here there is no orbital contribution, no orbital contribution, here orbital contribution takes place, orbital contribution takes place. Due to the orbital contribution, it enhances their magnetic momentum, that's why it's shown the highest magnetic momentum. So that it is the correct answer. So second one is correct answer. Let us discuss uh, another two problems uh, which are given in 2016 December, 2017 
June. So which is both are uh, interlinked, inter interrelated problems. Okay. Now the sixth one is uh, the room temperature and magnetic momentum mu effective in Bohr magneton for a monomeric copper two complex is greater than 1.73. So that means uh, here the magnetic effective magnetic momentum is greater than spin only magnetic momentum. Okay. This may be explained. So the deviation between the magnetic and the spin only magnetic momentum is expressed in the terms of uh, mu effective is equal to mu spin into one minus alpha lambda by alpha lambda by delta so which is already discussed in our earlier theoretical class okay so the direct question whenever you saw the question definitely within five to six seconds you answer that question okay so the remaining three are not uh, not our option so if we are not aware about a complete subject or complete knowledge on the concept okay so we are uh, choose the answer b so they are asking about spin only formula so that's why mu effective is equal to n into n plus 2 so this is wrong so whenever you will go through the complete concept then only you will solve the csi questions okay this is the best example to depth of this subject okay now we will go with uh, another problem so here the option number a is correct mu effective is equal to mu spin 1 minus alpha lambda uh, alpha into lambda by delta now the seventh one seventh one okay so here the question is a copper complex having distorted octahedral geometry they are giving distorted octahedral shows an absorption band at a 625 625 nanometers shows an absorption band which is a 625 nanometers given spin orbit coupling of these complex uh, here they are given in the lambda value which is nothing but 625 we are already already discussed d5 d6 d7 d8 complexes D9 complexes are uh, the negative lambda values. D1 to D4 are positive in lambda values, which is also satisfied it. Okay, so the value is a negative 625 centimeter inverse. Uh, then find the mu effective magnetic Bohr, Bohr magnetons in Bohr magneton. Mu effective is equal to mu spin only into one minus alpha lambda by delta. We know we know the lambda value. Again, we know the spin only value. So delta value they are given in the uh, in the form of dynamometers, we want to convert this uh, in centimeter inverse. Okay. Again, alpha value is which is nothing but uh, if copper plus two means D9 configuration. I'll give in the table D1, D9, D2, D3, D4, D6, D, D3. Sorry, D2, D8, D3, D7, D4, D6. Here 2D, here 4D. So in case of 2D, 4D, alpha is equal to two. In case of 3F, 4F, uh, alpha is equal to four okay now our system is belongs to the d configuration that means a d9 which is a belongs to 2d term that means alpha is equal to 2 alpha is equal to 2 now we know the alpha value lambda value again a spin only magnetic momentum here n is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 means a mu is equal to 1.732 so we don't know the uh, un, uh, lambda value so lambda they are given in the nanometers one nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 centimeters okay so they are given in the uh, delta value in the form of uh, absorption absorption which is inversely proportional to the splitting energy so that means uh, which is uh, uh, which is written in uh, denominator so so absorption band value is 625 nanometers so nanometers is nothing but uh, minus 7 centimeters why because they are given in the centimeters uh, in our lambda values okay so now here 1 by uh, 625 10, uh, into 10 to the power minus 7 means 10 to the power 7 by 625 centimeter inverse so this is the delta value so all these values let us substitute the equation now mu effective is equal to mu spin only 1.732 into 1 minus alpha value is a 2 again uh, lambda value is minus 625 by Okay, so the delta value is nothing but 10 to the power 7 by 625. 10 to the power 7 by 625. Now here is equal to 1.732 into 1 minus, so minus into minus plus 2 into 625. So here uh, the bottom fraction will reflect it. Then it becomes 625 by 10 to the power 7. 10 to the power 7. Okay, so this is the value. Now, so here it is equal to 1.732 into 1 plus so all these values are the, will use the 0 0.076 0 0.076 now here 1.73 into 1.076 
so this multiplication will give the 1.86 so the, our value will closer to the option p 1.86 so here that uh, uh, enhancement which is given by the orbital like uh, so which is given by the new effective spin only formula new effective formula not the spin only formula so these are the form uh, questions which is regarding to the deviation in magnetic momentum now let us solve another problem which is given in gate 2015 okay the magnetic nature of k2 ni f6 and k3 ko co f6 are so they they want to be knowing the magnetic nature of the following complexes that means either they are paramagnetic they are para so see the options a is both are they are both are para they are and para para and they are. so like this para and they are, they are and para so now what about uh, so we see the complexes uh, then all our uh, weak field ligands that means the weak field ligands will give the uh, paramagnetism that is uh, wrong that is wrong so let us solve the problems now so b is k3 f e k c o f6 that means the cobalt plus 3 configuration that is d6 that is d6 and now here in case of uh, weak field crystal field splitting 1 2 3 4 5 6 n is equal to 4 mu is equal to 4.9 that means uh, it is a paramagnetic species whenever one unpaired electron is there then it is paramagnetic okay now in case of k2 ni f6 that means a uh, nickel present in plus 4 oxidation state listen carefully nickel plus 4 means uh, it is weak field and uh, that means uh, so, so here uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is a d6 okay so uh, now n is equal to 4 mu is equal to 4.9 it is wrong okay so whenever the metal existed in highest oxidation state each and every ligand act as a strong field only okay this is wrong okay whenever a metal having the highest oxidation state uh, more than plus 3 in 3d case only so now here it act as a strong field ligand that means uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, n is equal to 0 mu is equal to 0 this is a diamagnetic okay according to the highest oxidation state it act as strong field again it's it's shown the diamagnetic nature so uh, according to the options first one is dia second one is para so option four is correct option four is correct okay thank you for watching